Dear friends, in this video, we are going to answer a very basic question. How will you execute a test set? And how will you schedule a test set? So in an interview, if somebody is asking you, how will you or how do you run or execute a test set? If this is the question asked to you. Or else they'll ask you, how do you schedule it? If this question is asked, what will be your answer? Let's see that. So in the previous video, I have shown you how you create a test set. Now all you do, come to the test set. And here you find the execution button. Pretty simple one. If you hit on execute, and this is the window which you going to appear. Are you sure you wanted to execute the selected test set? You have to say yes. So you can see execution started. Now let us notice while the execution is actually happening, I will try to show you a few things here. Okay. So if you see it went to test set, test execution, test cases. Okay. So it is there in the text execution in this tab. Now in this tab, if you hit on this and go to details, Okay, let me first stop it. Okay, now it has stopped. Now let's go back. So what happened? The moment you have executed, the moment you have executed, it went to test execution. And this is what you started running manually you have started. So here in the three dots, if you click on details, you would see all the test data. You might have got a data driven kind of a test case where you have multiple data to be ran on that single test case. So here you can see it has passed, all right? Now again, if you click on this three dots and click on view assertion, assertion means a statement, okay? If you open this, it tells you, okay, whether this has passed or not. It gives you details, verification passed, the expression download file path with the value so and so, was containing the expression vendor tax ID with the value so and so. So this is this is how you get more details of the passed or failed test cases. Okay. So here this is how you open this. Now let's understand. So we understood the test set. The answer would be what? You click on go to the test set, click on execute, and the execution would happen under test execution. There you would see everything. In case you would like to see a data driven test case, you click on details and you will be able to see all of them. So that should be your answer. Now the next question is, how do I schedule this? How do I schedule? Our next question is, how do you schedule it? To schedule it, again, under the testing test set, you have the option called test schedule. You go here and click on add test schedule. So you, if you don't remember the entire word, it's fine. You simply say you add a test schedule. Click on our test schedule, give it some name. Let's say I'm saying Acme testing or Acme smoke testing. So yesterday, if you remember, we have learned about all these terms. Smoke testing means what? You are testing the critical parts of the application, the major parts of the application or the major functionalities of the application. So here, let me select the test set. All right. And here I am going to select one minute hourly daily. All these things are available. For testing purpose, we'll go with one minute and select every one minute and hit on add. By doing this, it will come back to the test schedule option. And here it says you every minute and it says one minute. Now one minute is you have to wait. Now it is saying 50 seconds, right? It will automatically refresh. So let us wait for few seconds here. All right, you can see only few seconds are left. And at any time, the execution will start now. Okay, it becomes zero second. And you can see it will start the execution of the test case. So it is coming and testing the download functionality of the application. It has got some random data. It is entering those random data and verifying whether a specific file is getting downloaded if he enters a specific data into the application or not. All right, so this has already started. So let me just try to stop it. It will be slightly difficult. Go to text execution and there you have to stop it. Remember all these points. Cancel, yes. Okay, now it got canceled. 
not a stock so these are the two important areas that that you have learned from this video so please give it a like and subscribe to my channel let's move on to next video guys